the world. She's on stage in a series on Netflix, My Unorthodox Life, that showed to the older world her life and the meaning of the word freedom. I ask to join me, Silvia Grilli, to deliver this prize. I know you speak English very well, as you live in, in New York, so for me, it's better. <laughs> I don't know. She lives in New York, too. <laughs> Julia Hart. <laughs> Welcome, Julia. Hi. Thank you so much. So, I'm so happy to give this award to you because your battle for freedom express the sentiment of the time, the feeling of the time. We know we live in a t difficult time with what happens in Afghanistan. We know that in your Netflix series you dealt with all these freedom issues. E sappiamo tutti che Giulia uh, eh, conduce una personale battaglia di libertà, l'ha mostrata su Netflix in questa serie My Unorthodox Life. Ha raccontato, you dealt with everything, also with your psychiatric issues, so ha fatto comunque, ha raccontato anche i suoi problemi col suicidio, she attempted suicide in this very orthodox community in New York. E quindi la sua battaglia è una battaglia personale, ma è anche una battaglia pubblica, because as a CEO of the elite group, she tried to include every kind of beauty and... Uh, so, il discorso delle ragazze di prima, with elite world group, is very valuable, also with her. She tried to include every kind of beauty, and she did a personal and a universal battle with her role as a CEO of a model agency. So, the Key and Key Awards go to Julia Hart, an example of female empowerment and source of inspiration and rebirth for many women. Julia combines her personal button from freedom with feminism and fashion. Her undertaking and understanding of women's many different kinds of beauty is a revolution in the fashion world. Thank so you. proud. Thank you so much. I'm proud. <laughs> and also she lives in New York and now we are able to go back to yeah. New York, finally, <laughs> after two years. Exactly. <laughs> And also the series on Netflix is the second uh, confirmed Yeah, we yesterday. just announced season two on Ellen. So we're very happy about that. Yeah. <laughs> Thank this you. is for you. Thank you so much. I'm so honored to be here. Again, I apologize that I don't speak Italian, although I do understand it. Uh, and to be with such a group of illustrious and accomplished women who have proven that we women, we are capable of doing anything that men can do, and we generally do it better. <laughs> uh, so, as you were saying, my entire journey has always been about freedom. The first shoe I designed and produced was in Italy. The first dress I designed and produced was in Italy. I don't think there's a place in the world that has such a history of excellence, of quality, of capability. I don't think there's a country in the world that has brought so much in terms of luxury and beauty. So to be here today and to think about what the trajectory of my life has been, whether it was designing shoes that were more comfortable, where we, pat we had two patents pending, or creating dresses that a woman could move in. When I came into this industry, I was told never to use the word comfort, that it was a dirty word, and that you can't have comfort and luxury. And that's when I realized that fashion was being made for women, but not for women. And I have seen such a change in the recent years, such an understanding that it isn't enough for women to look beautiful. They need to feel beautiful. They need to feel proud of who they are, what they look like. They need to understand that no matter what their shape, what their size, what the color of their skin is, what their beliefs are, they are perfect as they are. And fashion, should be so inclusive as to make every woman feel extraordinary and beautiful and special. 
When I took over Elite World Group, it was with the idea of giving freedom to women. And what do I mean? In the last years, you've seen there's been a massive change in the way that people communicate. With digital, for the first time, you can not only see what people look like or how well they play tennis or basketball, you can see who they are, what they have inside their hearts, what matters to them, what they're passionate about. For the first time, the power has shifted to the hands of the people. And what we have done in Elite World Group is to utilize all that we have at our disposal to not only help women succeed, whether they're models or actresses or singers or songwriters or sports people, but to help build them into brands, to use their digital presence as networks. That gives them power. That makes them the arbiters of their own destiny. So I just want to say today, I think every person in this room is working towards the same goal, to create an army of independent, free women who choose what they wear and feel good in who they are and never have to apologize for being a woman. Grazie, Julia. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you so much. Grazie mille. Grazie. Grazie anche per